constructive wave is usually lower frequency. So again, if you remember, what is frequency? Wave frequency is the amount or the number of waves per minute. Let's say waves are punches, okay? Do you think the impact or the damage would be greater if I throw more punches in one minute than if I like throw less punches? Which one would be greater? More punches, right? So same. So assume the punch each time is the same force, okay? Same amount of energy, then more punches should deal more damage. That's why destructive wave would be destructive because the wave frequency is higher. Okay, that's just one factor. And then the wavelength is a factor of wave frequency. Let's say a longer distance between each wave, then the wave frequency would be shorter, right? Because it takes time for the wave to travel. So wave frequency will be lower because the wavelength is longer. A result of a longer wavelength would be a lower frequency. Two sides of the same coin. Gradient of the coast, gentle versus steep. Constructive wave usually along gentle coast. Why? Because we just explained. Strong wash, weaker backwash. Two step forward, one step back. And more likely to result within that position. Destructive wave would be everything in opposite. So weaker wash, stronger backwash, because it's along usually steeper gradient. And if you just take a look of the coastline. So usually if we see over here, right? Erosional landform is almost like a cliff. And a cliff is kind of, I mean, like 70 degree, 90 degree. So that explains, it's kind of like the chicken and egg. So they are self-reinforcing.